Schaefer. According to multiple reports, the Biden administration is getting ready to end a Trump era policy that has prevented more than a million migrants from seeking asylum in the United States. ABC 10 News reporter Jeff Lasky is live in San Isidro for us. And Jeff, what isn't clear tonight is what will happen once this policy is gone. Yeah, now, Derek, that is the big question. Frustrating people on both sides of the border. In fact, right now there are thousands of people in Tijuana, some of whom have been waiting for nearly two years for their chance to seek asylum. Now there's confusion about how and when that chance may come. And what we have seen is countless stories of migrants telling us that they have endured horrible things, violent things, while they have waited in Mexico. Dulce Garcia is a lawyer working with Border Angels. They're helping support 17 shelters in Tijuana, filled with people who want to make their case that they deserve asylum in the United States. They can't make that case because of something called Title 42. It allows the government to stop taking asylum claims during a public health crisis. More than 1.7 million migrants have been expelled from the U.S. since the start of the pandemic. But with so many COVID restrictions lifted, Garcia says it's well past time to end Title 42. As people are returning to this new normal, we're wondering why is it that asylum seekers, the most vulnerable among migrants, are still stuck in Tijuana without the ability to cross. The Biden administration is reportedly considering ending Title 42 in May, but that will create a different set of issues. According to those reports, the Department of Homeland Security expects to see the number of people crossing the border for asylum to more than double. Some lawmakers are calling for Title 42 to stay in place, not because of a public health threat, but to prevent the immigration system from being overwhelmed. In an interview with ABC 10 News last week, San Diego Congressman Darrell Issa said Title 42 should be replaced by a system that quickly sorts claims of persecution, leaving most people to wait in their home countries. We need to be able to have a system that takes the vast majority that are going to be turned down and, and puts them in line and looks at legitimate documentable refugees and puts them at the head of the line. Garcia says the lack of information on the plan to end Title 42 is driving confusion across the border. As of today, without a plan, without any communication from DHS, what we expect is chaos. And Garcia told me that migrants have heard rumors of Title 42 ending, and that's driving even more confusion. In fact, Garcia told me one woman called her today after presenting herself and her children at the border twice today and being turned away both times. Live in San Ysidro, Jeff Lasky, ABC 10 News.